we are going to do the mean start so to make the mean start looking at it and it's so nice i hope you all of you will enjoy by making this so come we will all get together and make this fruit mean start i am going to do pastry i have already done the pastry for you 150 grams of flour one dessert spoon butter i have taken along with that half a teaspoon baking powder and salt if you like you can use one egg yolk also into it now that is done and kept i have some fruits to be used here so we will use all these fruits now and make a filling not a savory filling but we are going to make a fruit filling for that i need sultanas 30 grams i'm doing a small quantity about 10 almonds fig 30 grams dates dry fruit peach apple grated apple also we use here but peaches you can use dry ones only apple i have used fresh apples right so we can i just wanted to show you and then cut it so that we can use all that together now what i am going to do is i am going to cook this together adding a little lime also and all this together all the fruits dessert spoon of sugar also i have put dates and all we don't have to cook but because of the apple not only because of the apple but all these fruits with the lemon sugar we have to cook for a while till the apple gets cooked and the water which comes out from the apple as well as the lemon also we put sugar also we have added all that has to get cooked nicely about half a teaspoon cinnamon powder and nutmeg nutmeg also sa sa uh, nutmeg we have to use grate the nutmeg and use it after offing only i added the cinnamon and the nutmeg you should not add while it is being cooked because the real flavor will go off now i'll put it into a bowl that's going to be the filling for us so all that we have done we'll keep that for the filling now butter the bun tray and put it which i am putting the filling now just brush it with a little egg white press it nicely press this two pastries together otherwise this won't get pasted i can do about 12 of those together uh, but anyway i am just showing you i have already done for you put a prick why a prick so that's inside will get cooked i have already done so i forgot to explain to you actually what i have done here i have cut this with the same cutter i cut some see holly leaves holly leaves i have cut with the same pastry i have cut it a few holly leaves when you roll it cut like this don't press here press it like this
that is the food coloring that I have used. Then what I do is I take a little of this pastry, holly leaves, holly fruits, we have to make, no? So you make like that and put a little bit of red color. Otherwise we will uh, put a few of the flower cutter, cut flowers and put three holly leaves, three fruits, no leaves, right. Make sure that it's all pressed nicely. Now I am going to bake this. This mink tart is something different. You might think it's savory. No, it is not savory. It is uh, it is fruit tart and it's sweet. This is nice for children, those who love to have sweet tarts, which is really, really, really nice. You can make it and keep for about three, four days even and keep it and use it before you take it again, warm it slightly and you can take this and eat. That's a um, tart that you can do. It's a mince tart, we call it, but all chopped fruits only we have put here and it's, not, it's called as mince tart, but it's all chopped fruits. Lovely fruits, nice fruits, tasty fruits that we have used. So you also can make it if you can um, plan this and how I have made with the pastry, you make it and see how it, nice. it looks, it's really nice. You can make it and it's so beautiful. Um, next week with another episode, I will see you soon. Be ready for the next episode. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.